Excuse me, General, what are you doing? Hmm? Oh, just returning a greeting! Yeah! <laughs> Anytime, pal! So, shall we get started then? Stay put! Hold out until our master comes! Any who stand in your way! Must be looking for trouble. My ambitions left unfulfilled. Enemy officer defeated. Final battle. Enemy officer defeated!
so you must be looking for trouble. battle enemy officer defeated so this is to be my final battle enemy officer defeated Blade of an expert warrior. This battle is quickly losing all beauty. Try taking me on! You're just an amateur like all the rest! <laughs> Foolish child! Did you think you were any match for the great Huang Zhong? <laughs> I don't put a stop to you! I'm fully prepared to fight to the death! Ha! Men as old as you belong in coffins!
Such good fortune. Enemy officer defeated! up to my father. Enemy officer defeated! Sorry, I'm late trouble you are. Good work, everyone. Now, for the counterattack. of the essence! Follow me! This battlefield belongs to us! Our attack shall be a thing of beauty. Is this the end? Enemy officer defeated! We will never give in to a scoundrel's rule.
because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. can do. Officer defeated! We managed to come out on top in the Battle of Han Chong. Shaho Yuan, you performed exceptionally well in this battle. I knew I could count on you to fight so bravely. The might of your bow weakened Shu and has also struck fear into Wu. Next, I ask that you set your sights on the whole land. I am certain that you can easily hit your target. A new this bodyguard.
It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Xiao Yuan was an expert in the martial arts, especially archery. He was also good at strategy and known for his surprise attacks. It was said that he could move troops at an amazing speed, 500 leagues in three days and a thousand in six. He rushed to join his relatives, Cao Cao and Xiao Dun, when he heard they were raising an army. He contributed tremendously to Cao Cao's ambitions in expanding his territory. After advancing into the central plains, Cao Cao also decided to invade Hangzhong, where he placed Xiao Yuan and Zhang He in charge of its defense. There, he successfully fought off Liu Bei's army forcing Liu Bei himself to join the battle. In 219 AD, Liu Bei advanced his troops toward Mount Dingzhun, and the battle for the most important strategic location began. Xiao Yuan faced a life-threatening attack from the elderly Huang Zhang, who charged down on him from a nearby mountain. Xiao Yuan struggled against the devastating attack, but did not give up. Fighting off the attack as best he could, reinforcements sent by Cao Cao arrived just in time. The victory at this battle gave way enough momentum, and the land soon became theirs. In this new world of peace, Xiao Yuan would begin to live a new life, no longer marred by the chaos. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. So, Zheng He, you up for a little hunt? General, whether it's war or not, never put down your bow. I could never live with myself if I ever lost my touch. How disappointing that would be to all who've died by my arrows. <laughs> <laughs> 